Welcome to App Embedded Pictures Make Your UI Pretty. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, the other day I was chatting with Steve, one of the other MVPs, uh, about something totally unrelated. Uh, and he saw, I think it was a, um, one of the, the registration screens from either the Simple Object Designer or the Toolbox, where I show a nice logo. Uh, on the page and said, but hey, well, how did you do that? And that was, we had some, we wanted to do that, but it turned out to be kind of difficult. Uh, so um, I thought, let me actually do a video about that because it's it's not that complicated. There's a few few tricks, but, uh, but it does not have to be complicated. So uh, let's get right into it. And our, our, I already started. So I created a new app. And I found the uh, you know the logo from the toolbox. So, um, so we'll put this one on uh, on the customer card because we could totally use more banner uh, ads in, in BC, right? Or not? Anyway, so the way to do this um, there, there are several ways, but the way I'm, I'm going to show you here is that so so this bitmap is actually inside the app file. So it's a locally supplied image because we could also grab an image from a web server elsewhere, but I kind of consider that cheating. And it also potentially introduces uh, some security issues in uh, in in lockdown uh, clients where you, you only talk with Microsoft or something like that. So in this case, this file will be served out of the same a web server that serves out the rest of this central. So the way we go about it is that we create a control add-in. And a control add-in is basically an iframe. And we use BC uses an iframe to kind of to isolate the content. Uh, well, to isolate content, not really last it because you can break out of there are several videos on the channel where I do break out of the uh, the iframe and, and do some stuff on the main page. Um, subscribe and you'll find them. Uh, but anyway, let's go back to this. So we're gonna create a control add-in. And of course we're gonna tell that we have an image. Uh, and I think we need to say logo, what did I call it for? So we have an image. So now this image file will be embedded into the app file. Um, then we need to we need to tell the so the control add in is both the content also but also the iframe and the iframe is kind of the deciding the size of it. So I usually go with vertical stretch equal true. Wow, hang on. And also horizontal stretch equal true. And then I do a requested height. In this case, I think I'm going to do it 300. So you would think that you could be clever and then you create one uh, controller. And now I just got actually, uh, so let's let's do uh, do this and say logo for picture. Uh, I create one controller in that could use be used with multiple different images and so on. Uh, and, and you cannot do that without a bit of JavaScript hacking because the height it's kind of hard coded. Uh, so unless all your pictures are the same size, it, you're better off creating multiple control add-ins. Um, it would be lovely if Microsoft at some point gave us the ability to on, you know, on runtime uh, or no, not on runtime, but on layout time to specify the height. Maybe here's opening. Anyway, so in order for this to work, we need to supply a place to put a bit of JavaScript because the, we are going to do, write some JavaScript. So we have two options when you actually we have multiple options for scripts. Uh, the two most important are the ones that are just called scripts, which is kind of where you put library code and stuff that if if you need to call it at some point. Uh, startup code is what is being ran when you open the page. So that's the one we're going to use here. And we'll totally just call it startup.js because why not? Uh, and we get squiggly lines because that doesn't exist. So let's create 
new file, startup.js. And um, so when we have an iframe, actually Microsoft does, does not just give us an iframe, it also gives us a div inside the iframe called control add in. So we can do document dot get element by ID. And the ID in this case is called control add in. So this one would give us the um, div in so div inside iframe. Um, and now when we have div inside iframe, we can actually add some HTML to it. So there's a command called insert a JSON HTML. Uh, and we could we could start by just adding something simple and say hello world. That should still be valid HTML. Um, so let's do that to begin when then now let's go back to the page extension here. Oops. And do a layout. And uh, with layout we say add first content. So we want to add something at the beginning of content. What we want to add. So here's the weird thing. So we are creating a control add in. But for reasons unknown to me, uh, what we add here is a user control. Give, uh, give it a name. And then we take our control add in. And then we say application error equal true. That's what I'm saying that it could be very cool if we could do a, you know, requested, uh, requested height here. That would make so many, many people so happy. Maybe we should create a, an idea for that. Anyway, we cannot do that right now, so we won't. So now we have taken our very simple piece of HTML and hopefully we place it at the top of um, the page. Let's see, here is a browser from another screen. Let's see if we can make this big enough to satisfy all of you guys. We get the ad published. We didn't really get anything useful up here. Maybe the let's see what the hello world thing was probably hidden away. So but you can see we got the control ad in here. So let's actually continue instead of the hello world stuff. Let's try to do the real thing. Um, so div inside iframe, that's the control at end. So instead of this, let's actually insert some true HTML here. Um, and I want to insert a IMG, so a image tag. Um, in order for this to actually show up nice, which we just saw that, that we didn't get with the, the raw text, we might as well add a bit of style. So um, we can say that display should be as a block. We can say that margin left should be zero pixel. We can say that margin right should be auto. Uh, and we can say that width should be 100%. So always fill the picture on the on the horizontal plane. So figure out so that if you remember I, I here I just said requested height. So the, the problem with control ins on, on a regular page is that business center doesn't really do flow around and, and make nice uh, uh, you you have if you're adding user controls where they're they're layouting you have to live under their layout rules and if I add at the first of content I get no matter what I take up the entire width of the page so I might as well do that 
So that's my style. Um, and then I need to add a file. So here's the thing. So source equal, and I do a something like this. Um, so we got we got an image tag with some with some, a bit of style, and then we need to tell the source. So what is the URL for this one? Well, we have no idea, but that is okay because let's go back here. Because in the if I go to Microsoft dot dynamics dot nav dot get image resource. Now I can ask for get the resource. So what do what do they mean by resource? Well, they actually ask. So give me this one will get the URL. So whatever this. And, and whatever you put in here, this is very important. What you put in here has to match what you have here. So if you decide that this should not be in the root as I have it now, but you want it to be in a subfolder, or subfolder, or whatever, you, you would, let's say we actually, let's create a pictures and then we put logo into pictures. And now we get squiggly line on this one in a second. Um, but now we will have to say pictures forward slash, meaning that in the JavaScript, now we need to make sure that we all do pictures forward slash here to get the right image. So this one will return the URL. And the only thing we need now is to make sure that we end the IMG tag. Did I have one of those I had already there? Um, so let's try this. I'll deploy. And that did not work. Let's see why it didn't work. So when, when something breaks, we can always go into the, uh, and that's probably why the hello thing didn't work. So fail to execute insert adjacent HTML on element two, two arguments required, but only one present. Ah, so if you yelled at the screen, well, you didn't yell it loud, loud enough because I didn't hear you. So actually the first parameter to this guy is where to insert it and we can insert it in before end. Let's see if that works better. I hit a five again, we're deploying. Hello, oh, oh we still get her. But there you go. So now we have a nice big banner ad in the middle of a page. Um, and, and the rest of it is scrolling. So that's perhaps good or bad, but, but if we go back here and then we just take a quick look at, I right click and say reveal in file explorer, which is probably hard to see, but we can see now that the app file is 272 kilobytes because this logo is Hundred and thirty-three. So, and then there are some other things. That's actually pretty big. No, anyway. Um, so, so let's just clean this up a bit. So, what we could uh, could do in this startup thing that we we could get away with the with the whole the div inside the iframe. So let's just get get rid of that. And then we can simply dot this thing to the end of this one. Like that. So now we have four lines of JavaScript and we have control at end of eight lines and we have added, let me get rid of this guy. This is kind of annoying. And we have added it to our layout. Let's see if this still works, that I didn't break anything. 
boom. Served out by the whatever cloud or whatever server that Business Central is served out of. Um, so that's how you put a uh, embedded picture. So you embed the picture inside the app file and you can put it on the screen wherever you want. Um, if you like programming tips and tricks like that, I suggest you check out this video because that's I guarantee you, filled with programming six or tracks that will make your day better. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.